Hi, I'm Anders Roswald. Welcome to this video walkthrough of how to get started with the Android Open Accessory Application Kit, or AOAA Kit for short. First, make sure you have downloaded all relevant files from the AOAA Kit product page. There is a lot of useful information on the product page. Scroll down to the Documentation and Resources tab, and here you will find a lot of documents, sample software, and other useful information. Download the two users' guides. The AOAA Kit User Guide gives an overall view of the system and hardware details. The AOAA Software Users Guide have focused on the software in the kit and how to use the sample applications as base for your own application development. Make sure you have read the prerequisites section in the AOAA Software Users Guide. In particular, you should have the latest version of the LPC Expresso IDE installed. Also download the zip file which contains all the project files for your sample applications. Start the LPC Expresso IDE and select the new and empty workspace directory. Select the import and export tab in the quick start panel and then import archived projects. Browse and select the downloaded zip file containing the sample applications. Select all projects to be imported. Import the projects by clicking Finish. By default, the NXP USB library has been configured for USB device only. This must be changed to USB host. Right click on the NXP USB lib project. Select Build Configuration, Set Active, and then choose USB host. Select the project to work with. Click Build in the Quick Start panel. Before attempting to download and debug the project, the AOAA board must be powered and the LPC link should be connected via the flat cable. Make sure the orientation of the flat cable is correct. The program development chapter in the AOAA Kit Users Guide illustrates correct orientation and how to connect in general. Select the project to work with. Click Debug. The application will be downloaded to the AOAA board via LPC link. Program execution will start immediately, but will stop at the first breakpoint, which is normally the first statement in the main function. Press function key 8 or the green arrow icon to resume program execution. Now we are going to demonstrate the basic sample application that we have just downloaded. Connect the phone to the AOAA board. Install the AOA basic application and follow the installation instructions. If you have problems here, you may need to change the phone settings to be able to complete the installation successfully. Check the Prepare the Android Device section in the AOAA Software Users Guide for details. This demo shows how you can move data in both directions, from the accessory to the phone and the other way around. You can turn the trim pot and get immediate updates on the phone. The AOAA board has some buttons and their status is also reflected on the phone. The buttons on the phone controls the RGB LEDs on the AOAA board. We hope you will enjoy to work with this board just as much as we do. It is a very versatile platform for AOA projects in particular, but for many other projects as well. The Ethernet, CAN and wireless module communication interfaces are general and suitable for any communication-oriented project.